Magnus Eggerstedt studies swarms of robots. My research is really about how do you make lots and lots of robots do cool things together. The fundamental idea behind swarm robotics is that having many cheap and simple robots is better than having one very expensive robot. So let's say there is a, uh, a disaster and you want to go out and you want to find people stuck in the rubble. If I send out one super robot and it breaks, then you're doomed. If I send out a million robots and one of them breaks, you get this robustness out of the fact that if you go up in number, then if some of them fail, it's fine. The robots work together using the same principles as colonies of ants and schools of fish. They don't really know what's going on in the world around them. They can only see what other robots are doing. So I'm, I'm really interested in how do you make distributed decisions, and meaning decisions based on the local information that I have, so that together we solve really complicated problems. Dr. Eggerstedt is the director of the Georgia Robotics and Intelligence Systems Lab, or GRITS Lab for short. He says something that makes his lab unique is that his team is constantly trying to ask new and possibly weird questions. If you're surrounded by a, uh, let's say a million robot mosquitoes, and you have a single joystick, what do you do with that joystick? Meaning, how do you engage with truly large teams of robots? No one knows, but I think that's a beautiful question, meaning how do we as people engage with very, very complicated systems? And people don't study that. They study one person, one robot. Thanks to the work of the GRITS lab, it may not be too long before we each have our own team of robots. I'm going to guess that we're 10 to 15 years out from having our own personal swarm of robots at home.